Hi, I'm Jim Clark, Visual Arts Manager at Hopkins Center for the Arts. We're on install day for Hopkins Art Street 2022-23. I'm with artist John Camrath of Matamidi, uh, and we're installing his work, Twist. John, welcome. Thanks. You have participated in Hopkins Art Street at least once before. Yeah. How many times is this? I think this is just my second time. All right. Yeah. Very good. Can you tell us a bit about the inspiration for this piece? Yeah, so initially I had started this piece just kind of trying to experiment with forms and with, you know, making some small maquettes and twisting it. And finally, once I started them working on it um, and hadn't figured out yet how I was going to put a finish on or anything, and then my, uh, my little daughter said, it kind of looks like a lemon peel. And so then uh, I was like, right. And so then it made me think of um, like a lemon and lime twist for like in a martini. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, this is, from my understanding of your work, and I've been following it for a bit, it's a little bit different form for you. It is, yeah. yeah it's it a is. New, new thing. Uh, will this, do you see it as being gener generative? or iterative, will you do uh, multiple works with this visual vocabulary? Yeah, I've started a second one, a second version similar to this, but with a little bit different. And then um, I have a, a piece I'm working on for Chicago that'll be a lot uh, bigger version, but it's, um, but it won't necessarily look quite like this, but I'll have the same kind of building technique. So the way that I made this will be, so I'm starting to use more like big, solid forms in the future. From a construction standpoint, this is, uh, when you say solid forms, before, what oh, were you doing? So before is more working with lines. I'd have yeah. these kind of lines uh, then that would frame big shiny sheets. Yeah. But then this is uh, these pieces that, and although they're hollow, they're meant to look like a big solid shape. Yeah, yeah. And so now I'm just kind of trying to piece together shapes as if they were building blocks. Sure. So, yeah. uh, it, it, previously, there was tubing used for linear elements and sheet stock to engage planes. Yeah. And this one encapsulates uh, uh, interior volume. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And I think this is uh, kind of more fun, although the other ones look nice from the front and back. I like that this one really is meant to kind of make you walk around it. Sure. And it's always different from every point of view. Yeah. How did you arrive at this form? Uh, you did, I think you mentioned maquettes. Uh, do you use study models? Do you use drawings? Tell us about your working process. Yeah, I'm trying to process. get better and better at using little models because yeah. it uh, it saves time in the long run. Sure. And so uh, so I had just kind of hammered out quite a few. I actually had made them out of, out of little nails that I had pounded out and then welded together, and then had a big like shelf full of these sculpt these tiny little ones, and then was uh, and realized ah oh, this is my favorite, and so then I made. Yeah, and it looked like this, except for that big. Yeah. yeah. And so it's good then I can measure off of them to figure out how to go about doing it. How long have you been a public art sculptor? I think this is maybe my sixth year of doing the, the tours and stuff. So done sculpture for, you know, I don't know, always. But, um, yeah. but then, yeah, public, I think I started doing public pieces about maybe six years ago. You also engage in gallery work, I yeah. know, because you had a sculpture in Arts North International just this past yes. year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I, um, I had been making these tiny little houses, clay, ceramic, and, and then started build, bringing metal work into them. They look very different than this, sure. but, um, but yeah, I haven't been doing that as much lately, although I, because uh, because of how my studio is set up and we just ended up moving and, and setting up a new studio. So I finally, for the first time in a long time, have a clay studio set up again. And awesome. so now I'm actually started making a bunch of little maquettes out of clay. Awesome. And so they're kind of ones that are designed to be really giant pieces, you know, so sure. who knows what will ever happen of them. But, but that, that's fun too, because that makes it so I can make these more solid, you know, shapes like this that are constructed to look like they're solid blocks. So yeah, it's kind of fun. Cool. Well, John, thank you so much for sharing your work with our community this hey, year. Hey, thanks for having me here. It's fun. Thanks a lot.